Hello everyone and welcome to this month's best and worst of beauty. Can you believe it? We are already in October here of 2022. However, I've got products from September last month where I was really hating them and there were some that I was really loving them. So I do actually have a 10 product pyramid this month. I know, I feel like it's been a while. And honestly, I didn't even think I was gonna have enough to do a six product pyramid. However, I started putting things together and I was like, oh no, no. Uh, I've got 10 products here, so I've got a lot to tell you guys about, but first off, I wanted to go ahead and thank the sponsor of today's video. Thank you so much to Scentbird. If you don't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where every month you get to pick out designer fragrances for only $17. No surprises. Scentbird is flexible as well, so you can skip any month you want without penalties. And you can also upgrade to receive two to three products a month. With each fragrance, you're getting a 30-day supply. I mean, these are huge bottles, you guys. These really do last a very long time, depending on whether you use it every day or not. These are eight times bigger than a normal perfume sample vial. I love the atomizer that it comes with. You can switch them out for different colors if you want, and they just pop right in, secure down. So if you want to throw this in your purse or travel with it, you don't have to worry about it spritzing. It is nice and safe, easy, and convenient to use. And if you're like me, where you don't use up a full bottle of perfume ever, this is a great way to be able to keep trying out new fragrances while also hanging on to ones that you love without fear of them going bad because you bought a huge bottle that, like I said, you know you're never going to go through. So whether you are new to fragrances or you want to deepen your relationship with them, Scentbird is a great place to go. If you don't know where to start, Scentbird does have a fragrance recommendation quiz that you can take. So based on your preferences, previous purchases, your answers on the quiz, Scentbird will help you to find new fragrances that you will love. They've got over 600 designer brands, so perfumes, colognes, and unisex scents. They've got top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, plus indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. This month, Scentbird sent me four different perfumes. I'm very excited about them. First, we have Michael Germain Paris Sugarful Sunshine. This scent is perfect to end out the summer here. It has has top notes of sugary pineapple, yellow mango, and tropical coconut water. It is delicious. I've also got the Saula Asian Unicorn Sanctuary Perfume. My apologies if I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly, by the way. This one, can you tell I'm on a pineapple kick? This one has top notes of juicy pineapple, leafy greens, and peach skin. It is divine. Another one that I couldn't remember if I had tried out, but I certainly wanted to try again because I tend to love Juicy Couture perfumes is the Couture Lala. This one is definitely bright and citrusy. It's got top notes of green apple, mandarin, and then lily of the valley. It's literally right up my alley. Like I said, citrus and white floral. I'm there. And then we've also got Derek Lam All of Me. This one is definitely more sultry and evening, I feel like I would say. It's got top notes of Juicy Pear, Watery Accord, and Iris. Something a little different for me, but definitely something worth checking out and trying. So if you want to check out Scentbird and give them a try, help support my channel here by supporting my sponsor, make sure to click the link below and use my code THRIFTTHICK for 55% off of your first month at Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month. I also have exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada. So like I said, thank you so much once again to Scentbird for sending me these perfumes to try. I am loving them so far. And thank you all, like I said, for wanting to help support my channel here by supporting my sponsor, trying out Scentbird, and getting some delicious new perfumes to try out yourself. Now, onto the pyramid, the beauty pyramid here. I've got, like I said, my best and worst of beauty products for support. September of 2022. Let's go ahead, sing the song together, and then we can start talking about them. It's the best and worst of beauty. Whether good or bad, here's the down and dirty. Yeah. To start off here, bottom of the pyramid, I do have bad products this month, you guys, and this first product I'm talking about was the worst of the worst, and I was very sad about it because typically, e.l.f. makes great products. 
But every now and then, I, I don't know what happens, but I guess we can't all be great all the time, right? This is the e.l.f. glitter shadow. I actually, it doesn't say on here what it is called, but it's in the shade Dirty Martini, and I thought it would be lovely for just an all-over glitter kind of a look on the eyes. You know, I love these kind of liquid glitter shadows, and I didn't have an olive that I knew of, and I just thought this looked and sounded delightful until I went to actually put it on my eyes. It's awful. It's patchy, it's watery, it doesn't look good, like the color combo. It's like an olivey green, but it's got these orange flecks of glitter in it. I don't know, like, I guess it's not awful. Some people might be able to make it look great, but it just looks sickly on me. It looks really bad. Like I said, it blended out really poorly, patchily. It just doesn't layer well. And all around, I just, I hated this. I tried using this a handful of times, and every time I was left severely disappointed and sad that I ever gave it a second, third, fourth, chance. It's going in the trash for me. Next up, another bad product that I really wanted to love. I did, but it just didn't turn out that way. We've got this Jones Road Beauty WTF Tinted Balm What the Foundation Moisture Tint, if you will. I added in the shade Light and I waited so long. <laughs> For this shade to come back in stock so I could finally test it out because I thought the ads looked fantastic for this foundation until I put it on my face. Like it just, it didn't, it was not good for me. It was actually really bad for me. It did have a natural glowy finish to it. It did, but the application was bad. It was patchy. It was hard to blend. It also just all day had that sticky feeling to it. Like it just never sets and it transferred and it was just, it was not good. I didn't like it like at all. Uh, just real bad, real bad. And I didn't like the way, I don't know, the way that they're advertising is, you know, say good things about us on TikTok and we'll give you money. Didn't like that either. So overall, I just, I hate that product. <laughs> Now next up, let's get away from the hate. Let's get away from these products that I promptly want to throw in the trash and get into ones where I'm like, eh, I could keep using it, but like, will I? Doubtful. We have got this Cover FX Gripping Primer. I'm pretty sure I'd gotten this in a boxy charm a while back and I didn't hate it. And so I kept on trying it randomly and forgetting how it actually worked. And so I was like, you know what? I need to actually freaking test this. So I've been using this for a good like couple weeks here and now I know I'm not into it. It's okay. You know, like I do like that it has that gripping feeling and I do think it helps the foundation a little bit, but I don't like the smell of it. It kind of reminds me of gasoline. It doesn't smell like gasoline, but something about it just reminds me of it. And also it pills really easily and with quite a few foundations, it just makes it look like you've got sunburn peeling off. It's not great. It's not great. It's not the worst but it's not good and I think it's gonna join the previous two products in the trash. I'm sorry. Now next up we are actually getting into products that I don't, I definitely don't hate them. I don't even dislike them. I just for the most part I have other products that I like better. These are still good products but they're not my favorite I have come to find and it, it does pain me putting this down here but uh this Milk Makeup Concealer. It pains me because I love their Flex Concealer. This is their Future Fluid Concealer. It's an all over cream concealer that they say can be used as foundation or concealer type of a thing. And I did a whole weekly wear on this if you wanna check it out. Same with the Jones Road Foundation. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a good concealer. It is. Um, I was sent the wrong shade. So that certainly didn't help. But I just feel like their Flex Concealer is better. And that's why I can't say that I love this one. It's because I know they've done better in the past. It's still good. Like I said, it gives a medium to almost full coverage, coverage. And it does last all day. It blends out really easily. But like I said, it's just not perfect. And the way that they advertise it, this does not work as a foundation for me. Okay, like at all. As a concealer, it works. But like I said, I just, I like their Flex Concealer better. Uh, the more I've been testing this, the more that's what I've found. So there you go. 
next up here, I am showing you something where Elf did a good thing. They done a good good. This is the Elf Luminous Putty Blush. Yeah, so they did put it on the product. Yay, my hand was just covering it. I have it in the shade Bermuda, and this is down as low as, as it is purely because I have other cream blushes that I like better, but it's not the formula that I dislike on this. It's really just the color. <laughs> So please keep that in mind. It's a beautiful color. I just don't, I don't know. It's a little radioactive on me. I like my blushes to look a little bit more natural and it's just this color on my skin isn't quite there. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's just a little on the radioactive side, like I said. Formula is lovely, like real gorgeous. It blends so seamlessly. It is an absolute delight to just pat in and it just melts into the skin. It looks, lovely and i think if it was in a different color like i said i would love it a lot more from what i remember there's only like four colors of this though so it's got a really limited shade range which is just which is a shame which is a darn shame because the formula like i said is really nice i just something about this it just it i have other cream blushes that i like better okay i shouldn't need to justify myself it's a good product it's just not my favorite deep breaths i need to calm down <laughs> And next up here on the pyramid, we are actually getting to products that I really love. Um, this one was prompted by a friend of mine. Hey girl, Dana, if you're watching, I hope so because you wanted a review on this product or you wanted to hear my thoughts on this product. And normally this was just gonna go in my hoard of eye creams for a while. But because you specifically wanted to know about this one that I got in a box of charm, I was like, all right, let's whip it out. Let's do this thing. I really, really like this eye cream, you guys. Like it's really good. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. I'm sorry, Dana. I know you said you didn't want to buy this because it's just another expensive eye cream. But like, girl, I think it's a good good. I love this bottle. I love how lumpy it is. Is that strange? I also don't love the bottle though. It's a little cumbersome because of the formula of this. It's kind of like a gel. And so you really have to, you don't like scrape it out of there, but like you kind of have to scrape it a little bit just to get the right amount. And it's just, it's so tiny and it's just, it gets all under your fingernail. I need to buy a scoop, I think is what I'm saying. But either way, the actual eye cream feels so delightful and luxurious under the eyes. It sinks in, it is moisturizing. It's kind of like you're rubbing in water, but a thick substantial water. And it just feels so luscious and delicious. I mean, why is it so low on my pyramid? Like I said, it's because I've got a lot of other products that are really, really delightful. And at the end of the day, like it's another eye cream, but it's another eye cream that I love. So like, where do your priorities lie? I love a good eye cream. I would love to put it higher on my pyramid this month, but like I said, I had to put things in an order, okay? And this is just where it landed. <sighs> now you're probably wondering, Cassie, that last review of that eye cream, I mean, that sounded like a top pyramid product. How could things get any better? Well, they just do. I mean, they just do. This is the About Face Beauty Fluid Eye Paint matte fluid eye paint. It's in the shade Clone. <laughs> That's nice. This is nice. You want a nice thing? Maybe you should, you should buy this. I love this product, you guys. I love the packaging. I could touch this all day. Don't get any funny ideas, but it's just a nice, nice. It just, it feels so good. It's so blocky, but yet round. I love everything about this package. I love the formula of this. I love the color of this. It literally looks like you took milk chocolate mixed with a little tiny bit of like a sienna or a terracotta mixed in, and then you melted it and you rubbed it on your eyes. Who doesn't want to rub chocolate on their eyes most people actually but if you're like me and you've always dreamt about rubbing melted I haven't actually dreamt of this you guys but like it sparked something in me okay <laughs> 
I just love this stuff. It blends so easily. It is creamy dreamy. It is just wonderful. It is so pigmented. Build it up, wash it down. You can wear it under makeup on its own and it's just beautiful. Most days I don't even need a primer with this and yeah it'll crease and fade a little bit but honestly not by much. It just it's wonderful. It feels good in the hand. It looks good on the eyes. I mean, what more can I say? It's a fantastic shade selection, color selection, and uh, it's real nice. <laughs> Now I know, after those last two products, you're like, Cassie, how could it get any better? I know, you guys, it's overwhelming, but it just does. It keeps getting better. I love these Kaja Beauty bentos. They are phenomenal, and semi-recently, like within this past year, they came out with new ones that before these used to be three shimmer shades. Now they've got two shimmers and a matte in them amazing. I think they also make them where it's three matte shades, but I love these. I already had one, and when I saw these new ones released, there was another one as well that I purchased, but I haven't been using that one. I've been using this one in the shade Peach Madeline. <laughs> it's so good, you guys, especially on top of this, and especially just in general. Oh my god, it's got this flaky, light, golden champagne glitter type thing on top. Delicious for an inner corner highlight, and I've been using it on my cheeks as a highlight for that flaky sparkle. I'm a beautiful fairy. Amazing. And then in the middle, we have got this beautiful shimmer peach shade. <laughs> like I said, on top of that matte paint, the clone shade. <laughs> Shut up, she's never looked prettier. And on days when I want to take it the extra step, the extra mile, like I said, it's got this matte shade I can use in the crease to define things. I love how these just snap together. They are compact. They've got a little mirror in there. Like everything about these bentos has never let me down. I love these little trios. They are so good. The formula is fantastic on these eyeshadows. It's just wonderful, beautiful. I love them. They're glorious can't recommend them enough. Now next up, you might be thinking, Cassie, after those last three, <laughs> do you hate me yet? <laughs> are, you, are you leaving the video? Please don't go. I have got a product that I was shocked about. I mean, I had high hopes for it, for sure, but I always go into foundation reviews kind of hoping for the best, but expecting the worst, you know? I've got my favorite foundations. Is there really gonna be another one that's gonna come out on top that's gonna do better? Well, Lady Gaga said, Leave it to me and this beautiful glass bottle of delight. This is the new House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, you guys. Oh my God. This is glorious. I can't even call it like good, fantastic love. It's glorious. This foundation works so well on my skin, so well. Just the tiniest little amount covers the whole face, and it's layerable, buildable, blends like a dream, melts into the skin, and doesn't budge. It is quickly becoming my favorite foundation. It is so good. This bottle is super luxe looking. I love the frosted glass. Like I said, the actual foundation inside is glorious. Please watch the review if you wanna see it on my skin. I'm testing out a different foundation today, so apologies, I wasn't able to get it on film. But like I said, I've got a whole weekly wear on this that you can check out. You can see how it does not transfer, barely wipes off, works with my oils, and just looks glorious on my skin from start to finish, all day satin delight. I know the shades are selling out quick and it's for a reason. This foundation, Kaga did a good good, let me just say. Now, top of the pyramid, the best product that I tried out last month. Cassie, how can it get any better than those last four? You guys, I had to, okay? I've come this far. I could not stop on the final fifth product of saying that, you know? Like, I just, come on, come on, come on. But truly, this is a product that I've heard hyped for the longest time. And I was one of those haters where I was like, 
really is it really worth paying extra when you can just go get a wet and wild or a revlon drugstore version that costs like five dollars like why do i want to go and spend what was it like 20 22 bucks or something on this eyelash curler from shiseido you guys you want to go and spend that pretty crispy 20 on this eyelash curler this thing does things it's incredible I rarely have to worry about it pinching my lids when I use it. It curls the lashes so effortlessly, like just a few pumps. I do more than a few because it's not that I have a problem. I just know what I like. And I like squeezing my lashes apparently with eyelash curlers. But this thing is so pillowy soft and yet it does the trick. It curls my lashes like I've never seen before and it keeps them curled. I mean, granted, I wear mascara on top of it, that helps, but like, this actually makes a difference. I never used to curl my lashes and then you guys told me I should and then I resisted for a long time, okay? I was stubborn, I admit it. But I have gotten into curling my lashes and this eyelash curler, I was just, I was sick of the old ones. I was sick of my stupid wet and wild one that worked and then it wouldn't and then it would get sticky and it would pull my lashes out and it would pinch my lids and I just, I didn't like it, okay? Now I have this one and I'm never going back. This is perfection. I just, I love it. I. You know, there's products that I find that I love, like this foundation, where I'm like, could I throw everything else away? Ah, I'd be trepidatious about it. And then I find products like this, and I'm like, can I throw the others away? Yes, no hesitation, no question. Throw them in the trash. This is all, it's all we need. I love it. And I think everyone would else would also love it too. You know a product is good when it takes away my English. So there you go my friends, there we have it. Best and worst of beauty for the month of September. Happy October. I hope you guys enjoyed this 10 product pyramid. I hope my feelings weren't too overwhelming or confusing for you. I hope it was helpful in finding some products that you might want to check out and that you might want to avoid. Please do check out my sponsor of the video. Thank you once again to Scentbird. As I said, it really does help my channel out if you guys go and check them out through my link below using my code THRIFT Thick. get that first month for only eight bucks that's such a good deal and it's in Canada now very exciting please try out a new fragrance for yourself I love Scentbird and I'm very grateful to have them sponsoring my videos here and I am very grateful to have you all watching my videos and wanting to support me in any way that you can thank you thank you please let me know if you have tried out any of these products and whether your opinion differs or agrees with mine you can let me know what your best and worst of beauty was for this past month anything you're excited to check out for this next month here this month of October just let me know things in the comments down below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video found it helpful somehow whatever the case may be by giving me a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe you can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I'd love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then Bye.